Hello, fishy folks. Well, <clears throat> uh, I've been running the system with the new pump for a while, a couple days at least, but uh, the first day I came down here in the morning after I had made the swap from the electricity hog pump from Harbor Freight, um, and I put the new mag pump in with half the size, only uses 95 watts, blah, blah, blah. And all my tanks, 70.9. Uh, let's see, upstairs, 69.9. That tank has a heater in it because it uh, has my RAM in it. Let's see, let's go over here, 71. Of course, some of these are accurate. I'd say they're accurate within a degree or two. 71.4. So, I had to go out and actually buy a heater. I got this Marineland 400 watt heater. Uh, list, or price $41.99. I think he charged me $36 plus tax. Um, so, one of the reasons why I got the new pump was to save electricity. Once I plug that heater in, I probably, I'll probably still save some, but not nearly as much. So I'm going to, uh, I, I have plans to insulate the room, actually close it off, because it's right now it's open to my basement. So I'm gonna hang some moving blankets to sort of close in the heat. And then I'm hoping the heat from the uh, air pump running the fish room, as well as the dehumidifier is running um, keeps this room warm and then when we turn the heat on as it gets colder outside I'll unplug that duct and we'll have heat down here now I may have to run another heater to keep the room warm but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so I am going to install this here it's a big mama jamma and uh, hopefully it'll heat up the fish tanks Okay, fishy folks, back uh, the next morning. It's actually Friday morning. I don't know when this is gonna air, but, and we're at 74.2 in the tanks. I did a couple things. Uh, as you can see, I have put up a barrier to help keep air in. Uh, I do have some finishing to do, like there's a big gap over there, so I, I wanna tape it to the wall. I do have to fix this. I've got, I ran out of staples actually. It's stapled up there to the joist. So I gotta staple that. I have to tape, let me show you over here. I have to tape this closed. Now there is an issue with this idea. This vent when the AC is on gets cold and is like a refrigerator and puts off cold air. So I thought about trying to insulate it. However, I'm gonna want the heat in the, in the winter so so we have, you can see the heater that's on in the sump. The sump is running, is it? The sump is running 74.3. Um, I'm actually a little disappointed. I thought it was gonna be a little bit warmer in the 75, 76 range, but uh, it's better than 70 when I came down here yesterday. Fish are definitely a little bit more active. Hopefully we'll get some more spawning, not spawning, yeah, spawning, and better growth with the higher temperatures. Now, the temperature was only, you know, 70 for a day, so I don't really think it affected anything, but we'll see. So let's talk about this little curtain I put up. They're moving blankets from Harbor Freight. Um, originally, when I bought my sump pump from Harbor Freight, I did buy the extended warranty for $19.99. When the first pump failed, they uh, they refunded my money with a gift card. So I had this gift card to spend. And I was gonna use these moving blankets, um, actually for this idea, I had them, I bought them already. And um, I decided to put them up. I was gonna put them up when it got warmer, thinking I didn't need them, but, um, so I had them, I put them, I think, I bought them on sale, I think they were like $4 each. They're just moving blankets, they go almost to the floor, which is perfect, I don't really want them on the floor in case water, you know, water spills, 
or I flood or something. Um, and they just happen to measure pretty much perfectly. So I'm gonna probably tape them over here. Um, I might not, I'll see. The sump pump for the house is right there. I'm sorry for the washing machine right there. So I did have to move my dehumidifier into the fish room. So we have the dehumidifier and I don't know if I've ever actually showed this before, but my Gemco air pump is up there. Um, those two do put off quite a bit of heat, so hopefully that'll help keep the this area warm, er, warmer. And then in the uh, winter time, I have this heat vent that's stuffed with a towel so that the AC doesn't cool down here when the, the AC is on. But, all right, that's the update for now.